Alright, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this very easy recent news app. And what it does is take a list of articles from the internet from an API, and it puts them into a recycler view. And inside this recycler view, we can also click on these articles and it will take us to the original source. So it is a very basic and straightforward news app. And we are going to be using Retrofit 2 for this. So it's going to be another Retrofit 2 tutorial, but this one's going to be how to manage lists with it. So let's get started immediately by closing this phone screen and going to our Gradle file because we will have quite a lot of dependencies to add for this one. But before we add the dependencies, we want to add this compile options and we will add it right under default config. So if we just paste that in there, you'll see we have these compile options for source compatibility for Java version 1.8 and the target compatibility for Java version 1.8. And then we also have Kotlin options down here for the Java machine target as 1.8. And then after we've inserted that, we can add these dependencies. And don't worry, I will add all the links and necessary information in the description. So all you have to do is copy and paste it. I will copy and paste it in right here and I'll explain what I added. So the first thing we have is a recycler view and a card view. And then we have coroutines to manage our requests. And we also have the retrofit two implementation. And that is to get our data with a JSON converter as well. And then we have this glide implementation, which allows us to load images from the internet. And those are the only implementations we will need for this video, but you are more than welcome to add your own if you want to change something. But after you've added all of those, we can just tap on sync now and wait for it to sync. And great, it has synced successfully. Then we can just close that and close our Gradle scripts and open our app folder, go to res, go to layouts. And inside here, the first thing we can do is create a new layout. And that's gonna be of a layout resource file. And inside here, we are going to type item layout, and we're gonna click on okay. And as usual, because this is not really a video about the XML, but, but more about the functionality, I'm gonna copy and paste it from my previous project. But again, it will all be in my GitHub repository, so you can just copy and paste whatever you need to. But I'll explain very briefly what I did here. So as you can see, we have a card view, a picture, and two text views. But the first thing I did is replace that constraint layout with a card view at the top, and, and I gave it an ID of CV underscore card view. I gave it a width of match parents and a height of wrap content, a layout margin of 4DP. I set clickable to true, I set focusable to true, and I gave it the foreground of selectable item backgrounds. And finally, I gave it a card corner radius of 10DP. And I added this foreground and this clickable feature just so that when you click on it, you get this very nice clicking effect. And I like it a lot, so I added it. And inside there, we are going to add a relative layout, which I just called RL underscore wrapper and it will be of match parent, match parent with a padding of 20 dp. And then inside I inserted a linear layout of match parent and wrap content with the orientation of vertical. And finally inside here we added a image view of IV underscore image with match parent and wrap content for the height and a layout margin of 10 dp. And I just put a placeholder image of the MIP map IC launch around since we all have that in our drawable file by default. Then I added a text view, which I called TV underscore title with wrap content and wrap content, the margin start at 10 DP and a placeholder text of title. The text color is set to black and the text size is of 14 SP. And that's only because my phone has a special feature that makes all the text on my phone very big so I can read it better. And for your phone, it's probably gonna be too small. So definitely edit that accordingly to your phone specifications. And right under, we have another text view of TV underscore description with wrap content on width and height and a margin start of 10 DP. And then I had a placeholder text of this is a description with a text color of darker gray and finally a text size of 12 SP. And that's all we need for the item layout. Next, we can go to our activity underscore main XML and we can go to the split view and I'm going to copy and paste in another view I had and I will explain immediately what I did here. So the first thing I did here was add a relative layout and inside here we set that to match parent for the width and height and the background to ash 29, 29, 29, which is just a darker gray. And then we'll have tools context, which will refer to dot main activity. And inside I added a recycler view with the ID of RV underscore recycler view with match parent for the width and height. I set align parent bottom to true. It has a margin start, top, end, and bottom to 4DP. 
And I used a few tools such as item count, which is set to 17, and tools of list item, which is our layout from earlier, the item layout, and that just puts in our item repetitively 17 times. Although it should be fine if you even just put five times, because as you can see here, it only goes up to four, but whatever. And then I added a view, and this is actually the black screen you get at the beginning of the app, so it fades in from black. So as you can see, it's not really visible on this view. That's because I set the visibility to gone, just so we can actually see what's going on here. But all you need to know is that this is a black screen, and if we set that actually to visible, you'll see it will cover the entire screen, but not the progress bar. So it is set to match parent, match parent, and the background is set to color black, and I gave it an ID of V underscore black screen. And right under we have the progress bar, which I gave an ID of progress bar, and it will have this style over here, the ATTR progress bar style, with a layout width and height to wrap content, and a sent him parent set to true. And finally, when we're done with our XML file, we can go to our manifest file and add a permission. And it's a very important permission to add, otherwise our app will refuse to work. So we have to go down here and type in users permission, and it's gonna take the android.permission.internet, and we can just close that. And that's actually all I wanted to show you in this video. This is going to be a three-part series. So in this part, we just covered the basic UI and Gradle implementations. In the second part, I'm gonna show you how to use Retrofit 2 to get the data from the API and which API we'll be using. And in the final part, I will implement the recycle view and we will have a very nice recent news section for our very simple news app. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next part of this series.